Hi guys, the video you're about to watch is my review of a water filter. Now, I'm no way affiliated to the manufacturer nor the person who sells it on Amazon. This is not a proper official product review. It's just something that I've seen online and I thought I would give a go. So I just thought I'd make that point. So uh, enjoy the video. Hi guys and welcome to another video. As you can see we're back from Penrith now. I'll pop a link to that video up here and um, while we were up there as you can see on the videos it was extremely warm and that got me thinking about um, when we go out hiking. Now uh, the most important thing about when you're out hiking is hydration. So today we're going to be looking at different ways to stay hydrated. Okay so hydration then. <laughs> Strangely enough I've got my cup of coffee with me. Mm, that's good, good brew. Now, when you're out hiking, uh, especially in this weather, you're going to be hot and you're going to be sweating and you're going to be burning more energy than what you normally would. So you need to maintain a, uh, your fluid levels within your body so you don't dehydrate when you're out there because dehydration uh, can cause all sorts of problems, um, confusion, and um, you know you'll use you know lots of energy and and it's it's really not a good position to be in. Now, um, there are various different um, things you can do to stay hydrated. Um, you could use one of these, which is um, what you've seen on the videos that I've done previously on the winter. You fill this up with water and uh, pop it in your day sack. Uh, secondly, there are various size of uh, water bottle you can use, um, like this, this one's Erica's, this one's Megan's. Uh, they take them with them. So again, yeah, you can use those two. Also, other ways is the uh, the bladder system. Now, this carry two liters. It's ideal for a day's hiking. So, uh, so yeah, there are various different methods you can use to stay hydrated. However, using these two, you've got to be careful. You've got to be a bit frugal with uh, with your drinking. You think how long I'm going to be out there? Uh, how much should I drink? And um, you just got to be so careful because you don't want to drink it too quickly because then you know, you're left without any juice or water for the rest of the day. So, I had a little bit of a think about it, and there is another way. Okay, so if you fill this with water and pop in your day sack, it's going to be taking up a lot of room. It's, you know, it'd be incredibly heavy to start with, and uh, you are limited with the amount of water that you can use. Um, like I've already explained, these two, got to be really, really careful with how much you're drinking. And the bladder system, yeah, it's great, but again, there's a risk of it running out. So let's look at an alternative. Okay, the alternative then is what is called a water filter. Now I'm sure the hikers of you will have heard of them. Uh, so I did some research, I had a look through quite a number of them, and uh, the one that I seemed to uh, be drawn to and I felt was the best was this, the Hydromate Filter Straw. Um, it's, it was on Amazon, cost me $24.99, and it comes as a complete pack. Um, now on here, put my glasses on, it says it removes 99.999% of all waterborne bacteria, 99.9% .9 of protozoa and some heavy metals as well. Um, you can drink directly from the water source with or without the extension straw. Um, now the filter system that's within it, um, it's got three layers, one the pre-filter attachment, two the antibacterial activated carbon and three uh, medical grade micron ultra filtration membrane. So let's have a look at it. Okay, so when you order it, it comes in this little uh, little foil pack. Um, it is um, closable so you can keep it in the pack, pop it in your day sack. It's dead lightweight, perhaps it's really, really small. Um, let's have a look inside. So what do we have? Okay, we've got the, the actual uh, straw itself, two ends. It tells you which is which, bottom and top. Now the bottom end has a little compass on it. Don't know how good that'll be. Um, you unscrew that and you've got the straw attachment at the bottom there. Uh, the top end, you just pop that cap off, 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 and um, you've got the bits you drink through at the top. Then it comes with this uh, straw and the, uh, you can see the filter on the end there, which pops on the bottom of the straw like that. 
So that goes on there. That obviously drops into your water system and you drink from the straw directly there. Right, now that's great. However, what happens if you want to uh, take some water with you? Well, just thought about that as well. They also include the Hydromate foldable water bottle. Um, it's got a cap on it uh, with the pull straw so you can drink directly from it. Uh, so what you do with this, unscrew the lid, pop this into some water, screw it onto the bottom, and then you just squeeze the water through into your various water bottles. So um, I had a play with this yesterday and um, it seems to be okay. Um, obviously, it will need a proper test when we're out hiking. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to put it to the test. Right then, we're going to put it to the test. Obviously, um, as you know, I'm in the back garden, so we're going to be using tap water for demonstration purposes. Now, it does state on the um, information leaflet you get with it, it doesn't remove chemicals or fluoride. So, um, excuse me, you're going to have to be careful um, where you get your water from. Uh, rivers streams and lakes just use your common sense uh, and just make sure it's you know reasonably clean anyway and um, you know use them as your water source if it's looking brown and a bit manky leave it alone um, but but yeah we'll uh, we'll put it to the test with the uh, tap water so okay so for demonstration purposes this glass of water is going to be the um, stream that I found while I've been out hiking okay I've run out of water and I think mm, need a drink so um, what I'm gonna need my little straw Unscrew the bottom there, pop my straw on here, make sure it's a nice tight fit. Undo the straw at the top and uh, pop that straight into the water source and then Yep, you can get a good drink out of that. So yeah, it's a bit tough to um you know get draw water through. But once you get it going, it's all right. right okay, um, as I don't have a lake, stream or river in my back garden, I've got my washing gut bowl with some um, some cold tap water in it. Now, if you don't want to drink from the straw or you want to take some with you, then uh, as I said earlier, all we need to do, take your cap off, drop your bag in the, uh, in the water, get your water in there. Once that's done, all we need to do is just to pop the bottom end of the straw onto your water bottle, tighten it on, just move it out of the way. And then all we do then is get our drinking vessel, turn it upside down, and then just squeeze our water, clean fresh water. into our drinking vessel it's now been filtered through and then we can have a nice refreshing clean drink yummy okay so there we go that's the uh the hydromate filter straw and it's nice and simple easy to put away uh it weighs 60 grams and it's nice and small uh, and compact, so it can sit nice and easy into your day sack. Uh, the bag, it, the water bottle, its bag itself is quite sturdy and it, it will certainly serve a purpose. Um, now, yeah, so, so, so there you go. That's another way of making sure that you stay hydrated. I like to have a cup of coffee. So um, the Hydromate would be perfect for me. Um, but there are other people who, you know, who drink loads and loads and loads while they're out there. And um, in some cases, it's not practical, but um, it would be worth having one of those in your day sacks anyway, considering how light it is and how small it is. Just put it in there, tuck it away, and um, it's there in case you need it. Now, when you're out hiking, obviously you're going to need a water source if you're going to be using it. So as I've said before on hiking videos, be prepared, make sure you know your route and make sure that if you are going to be using something like the Hydromate, that there is a water source that you can access because if you're going up a hill and there's no water around, then it's a pointless exercise and you're gonna to have to use one of the alternatives. So, um, so there you go, um, it's all right, but it will need the test 
in a practical setting while we're out hiking so if you do like the product let me know um, i will put a link to the uh, the product in the description so you can have a look for yourself so i um, hope you've enjoyed that little bit of an information video give it a thumbs up if you do and please subscribe if you haven't that would be great so i will see you and the girls in the next video so um from home from home with the shackletons take care and uh, bye bye